destination was Cape Town. It's regarded as one of the world's most beautiful cities and it's best known for its flat summit mountain. The sandstone majesty of Table Mountain rises 1,086 metres above the bay. The cableway was opened in 1929 and today it will take you to the top in six minutes. Yes, it is scary. It's a safe but hair-raising journey that's undertaken by about 600,000 people every year. This is the view from the top of Table Mountain, 1,087 metres above sea level, looking out to the Atlantic, with nothing but 6,000 kilometres of ocean between here and the Antarctic. Table Mountain's summit measures nearly three kilometres from end to end, and on a clear day you'll see right across the bay. There are some 350 recognised paths to the summit, some undemanding and some so difficult they should only be attempted by the best climbers. It's a rewarding trip. The mountain is home to a host of wildlife, including 1,470 species of plants. <laughs> As you walk along the mountain top, you'll find many specimens of the Cape Floral Kingdom including this beautiful yellow protea and other examples of Feinbos. Our next journey was offshore. We were on our way to Robben Island, 12 kilometres from Cape Town. For nearly 400 years, it was a place of banishment, exile and imprisonment. It was out here that rulers sent those they regarded as political troublemakers and social outcasts. During the apartheid years, Robben Island became well known for its institutional brutality. The duty of those who ran the island and its prison was to isolate opponents of apartheid and to crush their morale. Some freedom fighters spent more than a quarter of a century in prison for their beliefs. Nelson Mandela, the first president of Democratic South Africa, spent 18 years of his 27-year political imprisonment out here on barren Robben Island six nautical miles off Cape Town. After that, I will hand you over at the maximum security prison for that prison tour where you'll be guided by an ex-political prisoner sharing with you the personal story of his time being inside that prison. Under the guidance of a former inmate, we explored the prison quarters and cell blocks a place that's now come to symbolise the triumph of the human spirit over enormous hardship and adversity. Besides its history as a prison, this was also a hospital for leprosy and mentally ill patients, as well as a training and defence station during World War II. Since 1997, Robben Island has been a national museum and a national monument. This is the view from Robben Island, looking back on one of the most beautiful cities in the world, Cape Town, with majestic Table Mountain in the background, and an incredible four, five metre swell swinging in from the Atlantic. The forbidding sea was an easy deterrent for those contemplating escape. We ventured on, heading back through the prison gates to walk through the cold, empty compound, within barbed wire barriers and behind high stone walls. Nelson Mandela described Robben Island as another world. As you gaze at the tiny cell where he lived for so long, it's hard to imagine that he and his fellow inmates maintained their university studies and dreamed of a better future. For 
all its sorrow, this is still a place of beauty, a UNESCO World Heritage Site with a thriving natural environment. Robben Island is a World Heritage Site and on these rocky shores you'll see many birds including the endangered African black oyster catcher. There's only 80 breeding pairs in South Africa and we've got one of the pairs behind us right now. It was then time to journey back to the mainland, to the warm shores of today's South Africa.